Welcome back to Underwater Math. I'm Celeste and we've got Oliver to help us go over line plots. Hey guys, let's head to the fish market where the daily catches are recorded on tables out front. Sailor Tom caught a lot of fish today. He measured the length of each fish to the nearest one eighth of an inch. Let's help Sailor Tom create a number line based on the data from the table. Our title will be Fish Caught, the same title as the table. If Sailor Tom measured each fish he caught to the nearest one eighth of a foot, let's divide our number line into eight parts to match. The number line will tell us the length of each fish he caught. The amount of fish that measured each different length is called the frequency, the values that go above the number line. A number line may also have a key with an icon or an X above it. For today, each fish icon represents one fish. Above two eighths, we need three fish. Above four eighths, or one half, we need two fish. There is one fish above each five eighths and six eighths. Lastly, only one fish measured one foot, so one above one foot. Great job, Oliver. Let's now answer customer questions about the line plot and fish lengths. The line plot shows the different lengths of fish sailor Tom caught. This customer wants to know what is the difference between the longest and shortest lengths of fish he caught. Let's see. The longest fish is one foot and the shortest fish is two eighths of a foot. To find the difference we will subtract two eighths from one foot which is six eighths. The difference between the longest and shortest fish is six eighths of a foot. Great job Celeste, let's see what the second customer wants to know. They want to know what is the total length of fish caught that measured two eighths. Hmm. So if we look above two eighths, there are three fish icons, meaning three fish measured two eighths of a foot. If we add the three lengths together two eighths plus two eighths plus two eighths, we get six eighths feet total. That was tricky, but since they have a common denominator, it was easier to add. Exactly. Well thanks for joining us today as we navigated line plots. Keep practicing.